never doing aerobics again. This whole school is right. Those little pesky spots. I found a toenail. Jimmy, you've interrupted me. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Can I see? Sure, take a look. I think I have finally caught the essence of what it means to be a banana. I really feel my work is moving forward. Uh, here's the thing. Art is lost on me. I've always been more into music. You know, having thoughts for another really makes your work glow. Uh, how do you mean? When people do things, incredible things, when people blossom and grow, that really moves me. You know what I mean? Not really. <laughs> I am in love, Jimmy. And I want to make tonight very special. Would you mind going to collect a few things while I work my muse out? A dress, some perfume, my pearl necklace from the jewelers, not too much. I must look my best tonight. Tonight? Wow, of course. Is this legal? Of course it's legal. Whatever can you mean? Now go on, my dear. Hurry! Another shop level. I might need that.
shouldn't be me. Don't overact. All children plan on. Don't be shy. What Get on in here? here. Alright. Party's over. You wanna make a freaking wreck? Hey, quit that day. Settle down. Settle down. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Maybe you ever create. Why the Hello. Why? Just what I was you looking for. You know you for. should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students. Sir, you have definitely outs. HE is helium, and he is neon ARs. Our guy is neon ARs. Rome wasn't built in a day, but I fed my rest. I'm gonna break your chain. I'm ready to cause some real damage. Whoa, look out. Fire in the hole. I think I get too emotionally attached to some of my patients. Here you go. Oh, Jimmy, what took you so long? Thanks. No problem. Oh, man, I can't believe this. My first time with a teacher. Oh, man, this is gonna be great. Hey, Jimmy, what are you doing here? Nothing. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, well, it's a little awkward, but since you've been such a good friend to me, Ms. Phillips, she's asked me, me, of all people, she, can you believe? She's asked me on a date. Wait. She asked you? I think you're mistaken. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, I think there's been some sort of mistake. You sure you haven't been hitting the bottle again? No. I mean, yes, I am sure. Well, okay then. Hitting the bottle. <sighs> Lionel, you came. You look great. So do you, Deirdre. Thank you. Wait, what? Jimmy, what are you still doing here? Uh, what do you mean? This boy is an angel. He's been magnificent. Uh -huh. And he is so cute. Cute. <laughs> nice. Come on, Lionel. Let's go. Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy, you should get back to school. Wait, Miss Phillips. Ah, oh, man. Ever take visitors on a historical tour of the Academy? I already thought about it and decided not to. Hey, Miss Phillips. Hey, Jimmy. So what really happened to Mr. Galloway? Where did he go? It's a sad story, but... Well, sometimes when grown-ups get upset, they respond in the wrong ways and, well... Small problems get bigger and that's really the thing about being an adult. Miss, I'm not five. My mom's been married five times and I've been expelled from seven schools. <laughs> yeah. He's a drunk. Stupid man couldn't control himself. Damn him! I love him. 
But that wretched ogre Hattrick guilt-tripped him into committing himself into the asylum to get dried out. If only someone could get in there and tell him to get out, I'll take care of him. Why don't you go? Because that loveless scumbag Hattrick told him not to let me in, said I was a bad influence. Don't you worry, miss. I'll get him out. Okay. Meet me near the asylum tonight. I'll be there. And Jimmy? Yes, Miss Phillips? It's Ms, not Miss. Oh, right. I didn't even know you could get a room. Jimmy, I'm glad you made it. Please hurry and try to talk some sense into him. I'll be waiting for him at the asylum gates. Don't worry, miss. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Visiting time is over. Troublemaker! Just scram, all right? I think you might be... 
might be able to help me. So much stuff just lying around. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. Oh, God! I am pathetic! Hey, Mr. Galloway. Go away! I don't want to have another group therapy session with those people. If I have to pretend to be someone's mother one more time, I'll... Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, what on earth are you doing here? Ms. Phillips sent me. She's really worried about you. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, uh, what? <laughs> I can't right now, Jimmy. I'm late for my regression therapy as it is. It's fantastic. I've discovered I really do hate myself. Hatwick was right. I am a loser. No, you're not. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we can't let bullies like Mr. Hatrick win. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Me too. I am so happy to have my galley bear back. Galley bear? That's it? I think you'll be able to help me, if you want. The loons all got out. Can you help me get them back? Someone step up. Jimmy told me he'd be president one day. Theory. You won't fight me when I'm angry. Your ass. That's enough. Mr. Galloway, should you really be doing that? Oh, Jimmy. No, I suppose not, but life is unfair! You promised Ms. Phillips. Oh, God. 
What kind of world do we live in where I get punished for a minor indiscretion and Hattrick gets away with taking bribes from his pupils? He does? Yes. He sells advanced copies of tests to the sons of his rich friends and nobody says a word. Wait, what rich friends? Well, Darby Harrington for one. I can't believe he's selling tests. What if I got evidence of him doing this? <laughs> then I'd never need to drink again. All right, let me see what I can do. Cash? All right, I'll pay. You drive a hard bargain. Hey, thanks a lot, big guy. Tell me you can hit Money, money! <laughs> I sure hope he shows up. I need to get my grade up. Don't worry, he'll be here soon, I'm sure. Greetings. Did you chaps bring the money? Yeah. Do you have the tests? Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the cash, chaps. Sir, of course, I trust you have my fee. I've got daddy's checkbook with me. Top dollars for top grades. Makes sense to me. Thank you. See you in class. Drinking? 
I will terminate the employment contract of any staff member found corrupting children. Morality is the most important lesson we can teach the youth. Is that so? Then you might want to look at these. What's this? It's that fat, evil hypocrite selling test answers to rich kids. Fire them! What? You took pictures? And to think I trusted you, hat trick? You're fired. But I... 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 Bye-bye, <sighs> fatty. And as for you, Galloway, there better not be anything to that drinking business. That's that nonsense dealt with. Oh, Jimmy! <laughs> I this guy fell on my head. I don't think I... You're going! <laughs> Very funny. I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? I'm sorry. Ugh. Ah. Now, we're even. Ah, my nose. How you doing, Clint? Me? Just fine. Ugh. Ah, top of the world. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. You seem really balanced. That's what my shrink said. Then I headbutted him like this. Ah. Whoa, whoa, okay, man. All right, buddy. <laughs> you think I'm a moron, don't you? You think I'm a joke, huh? No, man, relax. You want me to headbutt you? You want to fight me? Because I'd really like that. Come on, man. We don't need to fight. We're friends. You know that. Really? Then get me a bike. I want a bike or I want a fight. All right, I'll get you a bike. Wait here. A bike? Yeah. I was just looking for one of those. Garage, kid. Good work. Now scram. Yeah, you know, this is what you... Huh? Look where you're going. <laughs> Put it in the garage and I'll give you the money. 
sit on you it. are so failed again you're not too bad for a rich kid Tell anybody about this, unless they'll get me bikes too. in the garage. That shot! Oh, well. Put it in the garage and I'll give you the money. All right. Now get lost. My work here is done. Hey, what you looking at? Hey, Zoe. You wanna have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? It's not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so romantic. Come on, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly. But apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay. Good. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. Hey. We're going to the Spencer Shipping Warehouse. All right, Jimmy. Here we are. A warehouse full of expensive-looking junk. It makes it much more satisfying that all this is Spencer Shipping. Wait, isn't Tad's last name Spencer? Yup, and now we're gonna play a little game. Whoever smashes up the most stuff wins. I'm never going to forgive that bastard.
Hey! Enough! You win! You sure know how to have a good time, Zoe. This is the best date ever! Hopkins comes through. Really? Branch off a tree. I hear Jimmy's the monkey a million million. Dr. Crabble Snitch is busy. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people! Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere! Now get out! Whatever, man. <laughs> 